What's up YouTube, Red Devil Forever here, and today I've got a great tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Siri on your iPhone, iPod Touch, 4th generation. I'm not sure if it works on the iPhone 3GS, or the iPhone 3G, or the iPod 3rd generation, not sure about that. But it does work on the iPhone 4 and on the iPod 4. I'm using the iPod Touch 4th generation right now. So first thing you want to need is your device to be jailbroken. Now that's obvious, it's supposed to be jailbroken. If you know how to do that, search it up on Google, YouTube, you're going to find good videos and you may just do it. Easy, it's easy. And uh, so open up Cydia, which you will get after you jailbreak. Open up Cydia, you're going to have to edit, add a source. Now I'm going to I'm going to have the source, the first one you have to add in the, in the description below. And it's no big deal, it's an easy, you have to just press add and then uh, edit and then add over here and then you add the source. Then Cydia does everything else. So as you can see, this is the source right here. Now once it's done adding the source, you can just, you know, go to search and search for the thing you need. Or you can just come right here, go to the source and get C report, which is the second last uh, file on this source. Now once you're going to install this, which you have to install it in order to get C -Report. Once you do it, it's going to take like 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Because... It's not the file. It's not file's not that big. It's not even one MB. It's just that Cydia takes a while to like unpackage all that stuff because it's basically getting Siri on your iPod or your iPhone. It's gonna take a while. It's nothing wrong. It's not gonna mess it up or anything. And once it's done, it will reboot. So yeah, it will reboot. You're not done yet. This is nothing. This is just the first step. Second thing you're gonna want you're gonna want to do is open up Safari on your iPhone, iPod, and then I. I'm gonna have the link in the description below again, as I said, but this is what you have to do. I have it like right here, it says Rogers Communication, but it's not Rogers Communication. I'm gonna have the link in the description below. It's something else. It's, it's a certificate you have to add, certificate which basically would allow you to use Siri on your iPod, or else if you just keep on trying it and it's gonna say, I can't get any requests or whatever it says. So you have to add the certificate. I'm gonna have the link in the description below. As you can see, it's this thing. So basically, once you cl click on it or just search for it, it's going to automatically take you to the thing where you're supposed to add. So it, as it says, install, it's trusted, and you can install. Now, I'm already done with this process, so I don't have to do this again. Now, I'm going to show you reboot your device after you're done installing the certificate. Now, I'm going to show you that Siri does work, and I'm on the iPod Touch 4th generation. You can tell by the back camera. You can tell by the front camera. So this is iPod. Now I'm going to show you that Siri is working for me. Hello. Basically it lags for the first time but then Hello, it gets broken. So as you said, my, you just said my name. Tell me a joke. Walk into a bar. I forget the rest. So as you can see, this is basically just the same thing as an iPhone because I have an iPhone 4S and if you ask Siri to tell you a joke, it's going to say this or it's going to say I always forget the punchline and that's just great. What's 5 multiplied, multiplied by 2? I think I messed up. Oh, wait. This might answer your question. So as you can see, it gives you Wolfram Alpha, which is basically the built-in iPhone thingy, and it's just pretty good. And this is just great. I mean, look at this. I have an iPod, and it's working. How old is Barack Obama? Okay, here you go. So as you can see, it says age of Barack Obama is 50 years, 6 months, and 9 days. Politician, which is against over over Alpha. And I am on the iPod. It's a 4th generation. This is a great way to get TV. It's easy. There, here's the thing. One more thing. Look, you can, it also gets you dictation. Hello. As you can say, it says hello which is your dictation. Here's the thing, when I did this, when I downloaded it, did the certificate, everything, rebooted my device, 
But like when I when I opened CV, it it kept on saying your request cannot be completed. Please try again later. But I kept on trying, kept on trying, kept on trying. And after like I think 30 minutes, it, it started working. Like I I didn't even do anything and it started working. So here's the thing. Uh, just be patient. Keep on trying. Keep on pressing the button again and again and again, fastly, like really quick, and it's gonna work. If you got if you guys like the video, please.